On March 18, 1990, the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston fell victim to one of the greatest art thefts in history. Only 13 pieces of art were stolen, but the combined value of all those paintings was worth over $500 million. On the night of the heist, two inexperienced guards were on duty. One of them was named Richard E. Abbott, who was a music school dropout and part of a rock band. By his own admission, he confessed that he would come to work drunk or stoned after a performance. Still, he insisted he was sober the night of the robbery. At 12.54 a.m., a fire alarm went off on the third floor of the museum. When Abbott went to go investigate, there was no fire. Whether this was part of the thieves' scheme is unknown. At 1.24 a.m., two men dressed as Boston police buzzed the security desk where Abbott was stationed. The men said that they were responding to a disturbance call and demanded entry. St. Patrick's Day parties were happening around the city, so the disturbance call made sense to a bath. The guard buzzed the men into the employee entrance, which violated museum protocol. Then, when the men reached Abbott behind the desk, one of them said, You look familiar. I think we have a default warrant out for you. Come out here and show us some identification. Abbath was tricked to leave his control desk, which had the only button that would trigger a silent alarm. He was then instructed to face the wall and was handcuffed. The second guard then appeared, and he was also arrested. When the second guard asked why he was being arrested, one of the men replied, You're not being arrested. This is a robbery. Don't give us any problems and you won't get hurt. An hour and twenty-one minutes later, the thieves made out with thirteen timeless works of art. They cut Rembrandt's Christ in the storm on the Sea of Galilee, and a lady and gentleman in black from their frames removed Vermeer's The Concert and Flink's Landscape with an obelisk from their frames, pulled an ancient Chinese bronze goo, or beaker, from a table, and took a small self-portrait etching by Rembrandt from the side of a chest. In the museum today, empty frames now stand where the paintings were hung as a remembrance. The thieves have yet to be caught, and the location of the art pieces is still unknown. The Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum has set a $10 million reward for information leading to the recovery of the stolen works.